I got like I was telling you, I'm I'm from Texas, and <clears throat> there's hardly any public land there. And I came up here to go to school in 1973 at Oregon State, wildlife. And man, this was the greatest thing. Heaven, you know, like the state's like 55 percent public land, which primarily is Forest Service and BLM. There's a little bit of state land. And you want to go camping? You go camping. You want to go hunting? You go camp. Go hunting. It's great. In Texas, it's not that way. If you want to go hunting, you get your license, which is cheaper than here, but your big cost is the lease that you're going to go hunt on. And everybody accepts it because that's the way it is. No choice. Up here, you have this really, it's, a, it's just a great thing. And as I was saying, you know, there's no law, that's, there's no guarantee that we're going to continue to have these public lands. I mean, there's been talk about it before, about, hey, you've got a $17 trillion deficit, let's sell all this public land, and then we won't have a deficit anymore. Of course, we'll start the next day building the deficit again, you know, but, you know, it's just, it's, a, it's just a great privilege to have these lands. It really is. And I see it coming from a place that didn't have them, you know, and I... I think we've got to be good custodians of it, really and truly. And nobody's going to get everything they want. And, you know, it's never going to be like it was in 1950 again, you know, and stuff like that. But, but still, we're so fortunate to have these public lands that are pretty wild, really. 